Hello, it's Ricardo, and I'm still playing Elite Dangerous Beyond Season 3. And with any season or any update that comes out, there are going to be additional updates that Frontier Developments are going to start tweaking to the game to fix anything that they've currently missed in the beta stage. And this is going to be like no other. So they've noticed a lot of discussion on social media and have introduced some temporary fixes. Some are very controversial, some are not. And here are some of the issues that have been addressed. So, engineer guardian modules. It was possible to engineer guardian modules when it shouldn't have been. They've prevented players from engineering the module and offered a compensation package to affected players who had engineered their modules. I think that's the case of blueprints being made available from the um, guardian monoliths um, and, and data statues in some of the guardian bases. Also, skimmer missions. Now, this is very controversial, right? Skimmer missions, the payouts were what they considered to be exceeded what they felt was appropriate. So what they've done, they've temporarily removed them. Now, players are gaining anything up to 200 or 300 million by rocking into one of these areas with a cheap old ship in a particular system where you wouldn't have incurred any bounty or anything from the crime and punishment area. They were rocking up. They were... Game just close to instigate the, the skimmers to come out from the base. Shooting with a missile. The collateral damage from the missile would take out a load of skimmers. So say one or two missiles would take out eight or nine skimmers. And you were stacking those missions and you were getting a hell of a lot of money. So like they say, they have um, temporarily removed them completely from the game while they work on a fix. So, mining missions. Now, I don't really get involved a lot with mining. It's never been something that's really sort of floated my boat within the game. But hey, some people do do it. And mining missions offered rewards which could then be used to complete additional mining missions. They say this was not intended use of the new mission reward system. So they've temporarily removed mining missions from the game as well. And they also state, while the solutions they have implemented are temporary, Permanent fixes for the above issues are on the way with a 3.03 .03 update that can be expected towards the end of this week towards next week, depending on how their internal tests go. So here's some other things they're also working on as well. So other points of the update that they're going to be working on are going to include work to the kill warrant scanner, including license to kill if a bounty is detected. Updates the generation of bounties on AI ships to improve background simulation and support the new Kill Warrant Scanner, or KWS. Superpower bounties, something I think has been missing for quite a while. Updates to the respawn rule to improve flow robustness and legibility. Locking off outfitting to stop confusing flow for players trying to wipe low cost finds, bounties, and being stung with huge module cleaning bills, and to close a missed loophole where players didn't have to face the consequences of a crime. So a bit of work there to be done on crime and punishment, eh? So skimmer missions will be re-enabled with improved effectiveness of anti-ship based weaponry. And that's a good point, because the anti-ship based weaponry, whether it be on buildings or those little turrets, sometimes the turrets didn't even take off, or didn't take off, didn't even fire or any ships that were parked around were parked in a mountain and didn't take off. And you could just blaze those ships, you know, and, and get, you know, a little bit of reputation um, or reward towards your elite status. Mining missions are going to be re-enabled and no longer will offer the same commodities as a reward that would be required by other local missions. Um, yeah, so ATR, that's sort of like task force response stuff um, now being cleared after death okay mining fragments now show the percentage of what resources it contains massacre missions now spawn for factions in a war state galaxy map configuration now persists and adjusted settlement data so that missions no longer erroneously detect players or direct players to locations where they cannot be completed Okay, I can see where that could be a problem. Increased bulk passenger mission rewards and rewards for wing delivery missions and address issues with reputation gain. And with, you know, this game purely based, I think, in some aspects of 
reputation and influence. That, that's quite a big one. Um, stop players being able to delete wing mission reward inbox messages, which stop them from being able to collect the reward. Yeah, that interface, you could quite easily just delete, 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 delete. Oh my god, it's gone and I can't collect anything. Um, players can pay for fines that are incurred while in the SRV. Interesting, I didn't think of that one. Um, they're going to fix the gyroscopic head look on a PS4 for you PS4 owners and fix collector limpets so they automatically ignore materials that you have maxed out. Now that's good. And then fix collector limpets so they ignore correctly when used by gunner roll in multi crew. So that's, what, as they say, a near complete list of what they're working on, what they aim to fix in the 3.03 update. So, just goes to show, it's, all that is beta doesn't sparkle or is not gold. And, you know, changes are happening. At least Frontier, I think, I think unlike, unlike other companies and other games, are going their, their utmost, I think, to fix these, these things within the game. I think it's great. Uh, so, okay, I've been Ricardo. Thank you very much for listening to the updates, the 3.03 release of beyond chapter one fly safe look out for more videos in the series and check out um restart and reboot or reboot and restart every saturday at six o'clock see you then